In the final video in this series, I'll be showing how to update progress on a project. And the first thing I'm going to do is take a baseline of my project, which will capture all of my tasks in their current position. And essentially is my planned version of events. <clears throat> to take a baseline, I'll go to the project tab and the baseline manager. And I'll select new. I can give my baseline a name, for example, target program and I can enter a description if I wish so that would be useful if you think you're going to be creating multiple baselines during the life of your project a description as to why you took each baseline could be useful at this stage I'll click next now I want to define the data I am baseline in I'm baseline in everything that I see in the background here next and that's all there is to it I click finish my baseline is created. The baseline is displayed on the bar chart underneath all of the tasks as this yellow line. If I select my baseline in the baseline manager, I'm able to change the color there if I wish. And so we now see this blue line representing the baseline or the planned version of events. If my live project is to change and I can demonstrate by just making a change to the duration of a task and I reschedule. Notice how the baseline shows me the original positions of the tasks and allows me to clearly identify any variants visually on the bar chart. Going right the way through to my bottom of the project you can see the variance between the planned finish date and the current or projected finish date. Baselines make it much easier to work with what if scenarios and I can now undo and put everything back as it was in the baseline. If I choose not to display my baseline I can simply come to the format tabs and choose to hide the baseline from display. I'll leave mine on for now. Now to update progress on the project and I'm first going to display one of our predefined tables so come to the view tab table I'm going to select the progress table progress with a baseline so this is quite a detailed table but it's shown me my planned start and finish dates there um, I'm able to put in my view my percent complete information and also task work information so this is showing me that I've got 2,000 units of task work to complete on that first activity next I want to display a progress line on the bar chart so come into my format options display a progress line you can see the progress line here at the start date of the project. I'm going to redate that so we're one week in. That's actually a holiday, so I'm going to choose the next day along the Tuesday's date there. Okay, so now we see our jagged line. It's jagging to the left because only remaining work stays on the right-hand side of the line. If we look at our table, at this date, we're being told that we should be 20% of the way through this task. We should have completed 400 of our 2,000 units of work. So we're able to enter what we have done. I might say <clears throat> I'm only 10% of the way through or 200 out of the 2,000 units completed. This shows as black shading over here on my task. And if I want to reschedule now to see the impact of that on the remaining work, I go to the Home tab, select the Reschedule button, and this time we're looking to straighten the progress period to the current report date, which is the 23rd of October. That pushes the remaining work to the right, and you can clearly see the variation against the baseline here as my end dates have moved forward in time. In fact the table telling me that I'm two days behind. I can undo that so if I prefer to keep a jagged line program I can do so but if I wanted to keep <clears throat> the line straight and maintain more of an as-built program I would leave the line straight so I would reschedule 
leave that line straight and I would choose to, to create additional progress periods to enter further progress. So I can create additional progress periods by clicking on my Library Explorer button and navigating to the Progress Period folder in my library and this displays the current progress report date that we have. I can call this Week 1 and I might then continue to create further weekly progress periods. Week 2 week three, week four, etc. When I go back to my project. So to update progress in week two of the project now, I can come to the progress section and change the progress entry period to week two. I'm shown a new line in a new color and my planned percent complete is now 45% or in terms of work, I should have completed 700 units. Let's imagine that I've only completed 600 units. That's telling me that that's 30% complete. My line's still jagging a little bit to the left and my new progress section showing in red on my task there. To straighten the line, I'll repeat what I did before and reschedule to the current progress entry period. And again, things have moved forward again slightly. I'm now three days behind. If I wanted to record notes to, to keep records of the delays in my project, one way of doing it is to enter a note into the bar and task properties pane on the notes section. And so if I select a task, I'm able to right click on the right here to add a dated note. So I can put a text note in here and I might call it um, a delay note and there's bad weather there which has accounted for the delay. When I click OK, if I chose to show that column in my table, you can see that a dated note is displayed there. Um, alternatively, you may use um, other documents to record delays and you can record those documents in Power Project. So you can choose to enter a URL or to link directly to a file. So in this case if I choose the new file note and I navigate to a document in my project um, I would be able to click on that at any time and open up the document within Power Project and this would be useful if, if a site diary is maintained or something like that and you can update it as you go.